Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the World Book online. Today I'm going to show you how to access USD 310's World Book subscription from home or at school. I will also show you some important features that will be helpful when researching any topic. As you can see, I've opened Internet Explorer and have gone to the school webpage at usd310.org. On the left hand side, there is a menu of various links. Today, I'm going to put my mouse over library resources. A secondary menu will appear and I'm going to select World Book Online from this menu by clicking on the highlighted words. This brings me to the World Book login screen. Fairfield subscribes to World Book every year and this year's username is Fairfield310 and the password is Belkin. I'm going to enter that information now. Then you click Go. Now I have a few options. World Book is differentiated into four levels, Kids, Student, Advanced, and Espanol. These levels provide access to the same topics, but the information provided is presented in an age and language appropriate manner. I will now demonstrate these differences. Let's start with Kids. As you can see, this page is very visual and allows for topic-based research. I'm going to focus my search today on a particular animal. So we're going to click on World of Animals. At this level, the topics are very visual and listed alphabetically. This helps out students who are just beginning to master reading and also students that may struggle in older grades. Our, the animals are listed alphabetically, and I can flip through all the way up to Z. When I click on the picture of the alligator, a menu will pop up on the left-hand side. I have a couple of options. I can click Go to the Alligator Exhibit, View an Article, or I can compare other animals. If I click this option, it will allow me to choose another animal, and they will give a side-by-side -side comparison of facts and information. For today's purposes, I'm going to go to the alligator exhibit. This has brought up a list of basic facts it's presented in a table and gives me all of the basic information that a student might need when doing a research report or just looking for basic information. I can scroll down and get all the information that I need. I can also print the page so I can look at it later. Underneath the basic facts, are related photographs as well as related videos and even a sound bite. Below the sound bite are related links. These will take me to other websites that are outside of Worldbook that also share information about alligator. If I want more information or I'm a more advanced reader, I can choose view article. So once I've chosen the article, as you can see, it gives me a lot more words and the pictures made are the same pictures however they're just inter intermixed amongst the article and there's also the same videos the only thing we don't have on this page is the sound clip but I can always go back and get that another great feature is a list of citation options below the article and the videos and the pictures are lists of way to cite your work. This is extremely important. It comes in handy when teaching small children about giving credit where credit is due. It provides the three, three different formats. There's MLA, APA, and Harvard. And this allows students to record this information in the correct fashion at the bottom of the report or they can copy and paste it if they're typing up their information. There's also a list of external links. All of these links will take me outside of Worldbook, but all of these links have correct, accurate information and are school appropriate. Also in the kids portal, on the left hand side, there's an option called play it. And this provides a comprehension question related to the article. 
So it says alligators eat small animals, including, and then there's three choices. The answer, after I've read the article, will let me know that it is frogs. So it says, yes, frogs is correct, and will automatically bring me to another page that tells me information all about frogs. Now, if I'm not researching a specific animal for a report or a project, then I could just use this to explore. And as I read this article, I could answer it and it could take me to another page. So frogs belong to a group of animals called amphibians. And this can go on and on and provides like a chain link of, of information. So that is the kids portal. I'm going to go back to the world book homepage. And now we're going to explore the student portal. The student portal looks much different from the kids portal and is very similar to the advanced portal. This portal is a setup for traditional searching and research. As you can see, it says world book student. I can click world book student plus kids and it will give me the access to the information that's on the kids portal as well if I need it. Um, I'm going to leave it at World Book Student, and I'm going to search for instead of bringing me right to the alligator page, it's going to give me a list of related topics. As you can see, alligator is on the top, followed by caimans, crocodiles, and some other things that are related to alligators. I'm going to click alligator and get our information. On the left hand side, there are different links that can take me to specific information, such as pictures, videos, and sound clips. All this information is also in the kids, it's just presented in a different way. I can, re I can read the article, and the pictures are intermixed along with the sound and the videos. So notice this article is much longer and more in depth, and up in the left hand corner, it tells me the Lexile level, which is basically a reading level, um, and this one is about 200 points higher than the original kids article. So as I scroll down, I've got a lot of the same information, it's just not broken down in the same way. Again, at the bottom is that handy citation information. So we can begin teaching children early on how to properly cite their their sources. The student page is a lot like the advanced page and so I'm going to go back quickly and show you what the advanced page looks like and click on advanced. This portal is set up for high school students and upper middle school level students. There's a lot of different information. There's research tools, create and share things that they could work together on and keep track of their particular research items. There's current events included, as well as different ebooks that students can download or access from home or at school. So we're going to again search for alligators because that's our topic. And again, this provides a list. On the left hand side, the link choices are different. There's encyclopedia articles, a map, tables, dictionaries, sounds. It's just kind of broken down more because older students have a particular idea of what exactly they're looking for. And so this way they can differentiate and gather their information using those particular links. Again, I'm going to choose alligator. And as you can see, this reading level is the same as the student reading level. And the article is very similar, but it's broken up into sections. There's alligator, body, habits, and there's a lot more information provided. So as the students get older, they learn to pull out the information piece by piece. So instead of just giving it, getting it handed to them, they have to disseminate the information and um, gather what is useful. Again, after the article and the pictures, there are the citation information. If you have any questions, you can come on down to the library and get the information that you need.